muscle contraction, calcium ions are the positive ions that flood into the cell through calcium channels. As the calcium floods the cell, synaptic vesicles are pushed into the synaptic knob. Through a process known as exocytosis, the vesicle fuses with the membrane of the cell. Acetylcholine is released into the synaptic cleft. Once in the synaptic cleft, acetylcholine binds with its receptors that cause sodium-potassium channels to open. Once the sodium channels open, positive sodium ions flood into the muscle cell via the motor end plate. A depolarization causes action potential to travel down the sarcolemma. Inside the sarcolemma are sarcomeres, which are the basic functional units of myofibrils, which is where the following clip takes place. Action potential travels down the T-tubules, which are orange, and triggers the release of calcium from the terminal cisterni of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which is green. Calcium ions then bind to troponin, leaving the actin active sites exposed. These are thick filaments which contain myosin heads. The myosin then attaches to the actin and pulls it towards the center of the sarcomere. To break this down a little more, this is the whole muscle cell. This is a myofibril which has smaller myofilaments which is where whole muscle contraction takes place.